Hello guys, this is Herman again in another Just My Review. Uh, today I'm doing a project that maybe it can work for somebody, not for everybody, but I decided to do this video because probably it can work for uh, any of the guys out there. Uh, I got the, uh, I just got the uh, Richline Honda, uh, the Black Edition 2021, but uh, I got the uh, Tonel uh, cover for my uh, my uh, my rich line and probably as you guys can see well you guys see what the heck is those uh, blue lines on that well uh, I got the uh, uh, um, the uh, painter's tape and I'm doing a project I'm trying to make this thing waterproof and we're gonna see if this thing works I see some ideas on YouTube and other guys doing different things spraying some things I'm trying to do something more more uh, um, uh, how I can say this uh, something more in detail try to put uh, basically the lines but um, I'm trying to uh, get this uh, tape all around the uh, toenail uh, cover on my uh, uh, pickup truck but I'm trying to make it waterproof the problem I got is I don't know you guys well whatever if if, if any of you guys got or or you know somebody with a rich line uh, probably 20 21 uh, 19 I think is the same uh, um, model and uh, you guys got the original Honda tunnel uh, just please let them know uh, showing this video because with this you guys can make this waterproof I using uh, this uh, tape just to make the lines more professional right here all around this is the areas I'm gonna uh, cover just this area right here in the border because basically I got the liquid right over there in those areas and it's not terrible but you know when it's raining you know you got these drops coming inside the bed and basically the purpose of this thing is to make this uh, uh, this uh, truck in the back waterproof that's the main purpose you know I think it's no sense to buy this kind of stuff and if you got in you're gonna get uh, leaks inside your pickup truck I think it's no sense and I'm using this guy right here Lexel uh, I see another guy in uh, YouTube using this uh, actually he just he put it on his video and he recommended it and you know I'm getting the same one because I check uh, also reviews about this product and it looks like it's very very good and it takes long 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 time in uh, specific spots uh, it's flexible and you know it's got good uh, adhesive and you know sticks very 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 good and that's what we need right here we need something forever basically for the life of this thing and guys well like I told you guys I'm gonna apply this right here you know I'm gonna make all this and I just show you guys uh, I'm going all around these areas you know depending the uh, tunnel you guys have uh, you guys can check where is the leak I'm just you know my leak is right there and right there in some areas but to be honest I don't know if it's coming for the corners or somewhere else uh, thanks God I noticed I don't have nothing in the middle right there in, in in those two gaps I got uh, in the joint basically I don't have any leaks and that's what I got some hope but I'm gonna put all these around and then I'm gonna do the same thing in the outside okay guys I'm gonna proceed to do that I'm gonna show you guys as soon as I put the glue right here but basically you just gotta cut this tube right here to uh, the uh, um, uh, to the uh, uh, level design for you guys if you guys decide to make it in big I, I recommend you guys do it you know like a medium like a medium size just you know take an idea of, of the gap right here and depending on the gap you guys have that's the uh, 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 cut you guys gotta do right here and then little by little uh, get some pressure and spread it and using your fingers try to get everything clean and then you just remove the tape and you guys gonna have a real nice line well let's do this and let's see what's gonna happen Okay guys, I'm gonna show you right here, uh, just a little bit, that way you guys can see how to, this is the cut I did, not something you guys see is basically almost the same size of this uh, 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 corner right here, just the same size I did over here in the cut, 
hold on let me just focus it and it's basically uh, hold on all right there you go a little bit more clear and simple thing you guys do just squeeze it right here and just go down 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 try to put a good quantity of this and you guys can see right here then try to uh finish it with your fingers you guys can use alcohol got a bottle of alcohol right there and uh, basically uh, clean your hands your finger right here then you finish it real nice with your finger right here and whatever you got left keep passing it over and over try to force in the uh, glue <clears throat> inside the uh, edges in the borders of this tunnel all right okay guys one thing i gotta let you know guys as soon as as soon as immediately guys you put the uh the uh, cooking right here just do one line and then don't wait and just grab the uh, uh tape and remove it just just like that just you guys remove it like that and everything is gonna be okay that way you guys don't have to deal wow with marks uh let me i got my my okay this is much better guys i'm sorry i have to pause it and put the uh, the uh, phone light because i have my my headlight and it was interfering but as, as you guys can see you know the line getting better getting more nice finish as you guys can notice you know it's more perfect if you guys don't put the tape you guys gonna have all this mess uh, uh this is gonna be a mess right here uh you know humbly i'm doing this job like that you know maybe it works and as what i hope when i'm done we will see we're gonna check it out but guys look at how it looks like so far uh like i told you guys do one line at the time and uh, uh as soon as you guys finish doing one line i got a little piece right here left uh i gonna remove this one right here but when you guys finish doing uh one line remember finish one complete line all the way uh to the end from there to to here basically and just remove the tape remove the tape like i did right here i finished this line from here to the end and i remove it that way that the uh, uh this glue is gonna be uh it's not gonna set up and then you know you're not gonna have those marks ugly marks uh you know i i, I just it's, uh I, I was doing the experiment with this and um that's the way i think is working so far but but uh, as you guys can see you guys can notice the shine right there in the in the borders all that is the glue is the glue in the tunnel and uh, you guys can see the difference it looks like uh, basically it was made from factory <laughs> uh, and you know tape is always a good friend and i always use the tape for do these kind of finishes and always give me good results you know it's, it's not expensive it's maybe like three three four dollars you got a home depot you maybe you're not gonna need a a, 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 a whole entire tape but you gotta you gotta use a lot and you gotta be patient and do your job right there this is the tape now this is the bottom the bottom side of my tunnel i'm gonna turn around and i'm gonna do the top side probably i'm gonna do it tomorrow i'm gonna let it dry because he says it take to set up half hour uh in order to paint it but i'm gonna paint it and it takes 24 hours to get more strong and then to cure completely it takes like uh about uh a week and you know thanks god this is not something that is uh, uh moving but it's gonna be good enough to um to to uh to let this thing dry especially with the sun and everything it's gonna be more faster all right guys i'm gonna do 
the other side and we're gonna keep recording okay all right guys now today i'm gonna do the second part now you guys as you guys can see this is basically the top of the uh, tunnel and you know i got it right here and some uh, on top of these cardboards in order to this piece don't get damaged and one thing i want to show you guys uh you know before i apply the glue uh, i using basically my my vacuum right here and uh it's gonna be noisy but uh, just to give you guys an idea Basically, I'm doing that and after as I'm soaking all this because you know believe it or not You know, I got a drain uh, About what like a Few days ago and uh, you know, I get a lot of sun and everything Everything got dry, but Amazingly still some water inside the tunnel and uh, you know for that reason I soaked it everything out and right now you guys don't see much basically you don't see nothing at all, but if you guys can uh, well, right there, you guys can see a little bit of humidity when I'm soaking it with the vacuum. And after that, I got an old uh, dryer, hair dryer from my wife that uh, she's not using no more. And I got a, as a part of my tools. And I'm using this guy right here and I put it in heat and I'm gonna heat, it, uh, heat it up a little bit all around the areas I'm gonna put the glue. Then after I do that, I'm gonna use uh, a rock like this one. And gonna uh, like I told you guys yesterday, uh, basically, well, this yesterday today, uh, uh, um, I'm using uh, alcohol, and I'm just cleaning the same spots with the alcohol, and let it dry, and then I'm gonna apply the glue. That glue uh, is good because very very good because it's uh, it's, it's it's real uh, got a lot of flexibility, flex it's it's, it's, it's flexible and uh, it's gonna work really really good in this type of uh, job I am doing right here okay uh, I'm gonna keep doing this I'm gonna put the tape I'm gonna give you guys another video then I'm gonna show you guys something else that I'm doing in, uh, in the band also I get this piece right here uh, you guys I don't know if you guys can see the difference well I'm not, you guys are gonna see right here this piece I get this in Amazon uh, it's some kind of uh, insulation uh, weatherproof waterproof and everything and I put all this right here, all the way around. Let me just uh, put the light on. Okay, <clears throat> got the light on. And basically I cut everything all around, put this every uh, real, real tight. Right here, I put some of that glue, trying to uh, avoid the connection with my, my, my bed. And also right there, you guys see the hole. Well, every, everybody's familiar with these holes. This is for the drain. The water coming from the top of the uh, of the uh, uh, truck is coming down to this this hole right here. Basically, is right there. It's another connection. But uh, honestly, I don't really like it. What is like that? But uh, I got a hole right there in the bottom. As you guys can see, let me see right there. You guys can see it. Is that hole? Yes, exactly. That with my finger is. You guys can barely see it. But it's right there and that little hole and it's another one right there is where all the water coming out from from uh when the uh, bed get wet and you know i just you know seal this just in case for some reason i got some kind of water or i gotta wash the track well you know i'm i'm gonna use those holes and everything whatever but i don't want to drain from the outside uh uh get inside my my bed and uh, like i told you guys i seal all this with that glue sealing all that and i just put in this this one is not sitting completely because for some reason this honda uh tunnel is doesn't go all the way to the back and i think it's because of this guy right here it's not letting letting uh sit completely in the back as you guys can see we got this little uh, uh lip or whatever is this right here and it's coming out from basically from the window if we don't grab this we can put the tunnel all the way in the back but because the tunnel sits in here we just get this part hanging and probably that's one of the cause of the original uh, uh tunnel from a uh, hand that leaks inside 
well, uh, uh, I got some leaks in here, not that bad. But also, I leave a channel back here. It's not a big channel, but uh, you guys can see uh, it's good enough for, for you know, the, when the water comes down, go all the way to the end over there. Let me see, just try to focus it a little bit more. Uh, it's getting kind of hard. Okay, you guys can see it right here. Yeah, this channel right here. Uh, it's good enough to, to get the water in there. And let me see, now it's more, more better. And it's all the way to the end right there. And you know, it's all around this. Well, guys, I'm gonna keep doing this and let's go and see how this thing is going. Okay, guys, that's what I'm talking about. I got the alcohol right there. And you know, use rubber just to make sure to clean all the dirt in here. This one is basically, it's really, really clean. If you guys see it, it's almost nothing. Uh, uh, I really clean it before. Uh, before do all this job, I basically grab a, a, a brush and with some water and soap, I just wash it and with a pressure washer and you know, just let it dry, sit dry for a, a couple of uh, days basically and today you know i'm doing uh in today in yesterday i started doing this yesterday and i'm gonna finish this today i'm gonna do this and i'm gonna show you guys basically it's gonna be around 24 hours and the uh, bottom coat is not uh dry yet from the glue basically uh it takes a uh, half hour to to dry for the tack and 48 hours to uh paint no, basically 48 hours, yeah, to paint. And then to completely cure, it takes between one and two weeks. Just to guys let you know. Uh, and it got a lot of, lot of flexibility. I'm gonna show you these guys again. This one you guys can get it on Amazon or you guys can get it on Lowe's. Uh, trying to see if it's in a Home Depot, but I don't see any. But so far those the two places, probably some, somewhere else, maybe in eBay or something like that. But as you guys can see, all that is from the uh, uh, alcohol i'm gonna finish cleaning that and then i'm gonna show you guys the rest okay guys this is the other part i'm painting just to show you guys how it's going in detail and i'm gonna keep doing this and let's go see how it looks when we done okay guys Whew. we're done here and just to show you guys in a little bit detail where is going to be uh, this uh, cooking all around? Well, this is a kind of a silicone or something like that. They call it, this is cooking, like cock, but uh, this is an adhesive that's really, really good, uh, flexible. Uh, I don't know why they, they, uh, uh, they, they call it cocking. Uh, but uh, you know, for me, it's like a, a some kind of glue that is a multi-purpose. Of, well, yeah, you can use to to cut too. But uh, this one is the job done, basically, guys. Now I'm gonna proceed to put like uh, I showed you guys before. You know, remember, just try to do one segment at a time. This line first, then remove the tape, then do the other one. I'm telling you that because uh, this, uh, I, I know I told you guys this tape takes a, a lot of hours to set. You know, for some reason, if you remove the tape, you know, before or up, I'm sorry, after, like maybe like a minute later, let's say you finish a complete panel and then you remove it, you will see this uh, light filaments of uh, the uh, uh, glue, like, uh, you know, trying to. Yeah, stay on the tape and you will see all that and uh, you know it's gonna be a little little bit messy you know but if you remove it before it's set it's gonna be real real nice i'm gonna show you guys uh uh when it's done and you guys will see the difference uh remember one line at a time let's do this okay guys uh basically i'm removing the tape right now and uh, i'm showing you guys how is this getting it looks very nice so far I'm very happy with it but as you guys can see uh, I don't know about all the guys having the original tunnel from uh, Honda the Ridgeline 
Uh, my card is the 21, I think the 17, 18, 19, and 20 use the same tunnel. And I don't know you guys, but I have a mix in that area and in that other area too. Also in the back right here, like I told you guys previously, uh, this part right here, this um, gasket, it looks very good. But for some reason, this part over here, uh, I explained you guys before, doesn't align with this one right here, you see? And stop right here. For that reason, this got a seat over here and you got a gap like this, just half of the rubber sits on the uh, bed. And you guys can see right here, it's the same thing right here, but I leave this one on purpose. I'm gonna leave it sitting here and let's see how it works. This thing is, uh, I got a glue, waterproof glue on it. Plus it's gonna be on top, it's gonna create a gap of like a quarter inch right here. You guys see it right here. And uh, I hope this thing holds the water and the water's drain over here and go by this uh, area. And let's see, well, let me finish right here, guys. And let's go and see how it looks like when I'm done. Okay, guys, basically, uh, I just finished this. As uh, you guys can see this right here, the seams and everything. Um, that's the uh, uh, glue or the uh, cup, whatever, they, whatever, however they call it, and uh, it looks nice. You know, basically it's a truck. Uh, you guys can see it right there, and as you guys see the water right there, I just check it all around, check all that, and I'm gonna show you guys right here. You see, usually I get the water right there in those those two spots. Uh, and uh, basically, right now, is no no water in there. As you guys can see, uh, I got water in that corner. Let me zoom in a little bit. As you guys can see right there, it's kind of a dark right there. Yeah, hardly, hard, 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 dark, dark. You guys see it right there, but that's normal because, let me show you guys. Uh, Right here, remember guys, the uh, the two little holes I told you? Those little holes right there. Yeah, the water is coming from here, and you know, goes in those holes right there, and basically go down to the car, instead of drain over here. And you know, that's basically it. Uh, I got that, and basically the, the car is really, really, basically waterproof. Let me just try to get some water around here, like that to make sure everything is like this you guys see it, it's getting real real soak and as you guys see everything is clear Okay guys, look how the uh, uh, finished job looks like after you put the treatment, uh, it looks completely nice and uh, I put an extra coat of uh, this protector and I'm going to show you guys which is the one, according to reviews, is one of the best and give a nice finish to the uh, tunnel. Alright guys, thank you guys, thumbs up, see you guys later in another that's my review.